You've just tapped into the brain of successful online bookseller Adam Bertram. Whether you're selling books on Amazon, eBay, Alibras, or A Books, Adam shares his out of the box thinking and completely transparent advice to help you achieve your sales goals in record time. Let's listen in now to hear the latest super helpful yet down to earth blog post posted on the only blog for successful online booksellers at sellyourbooksonline.com. What happens inside an Amazon FBA fulfillment center? This is a guest post by James Cecil. James is an Amazon employee that is working hard to accept our books into a fulfillment center so the magic of Amazon FBA can do its work. This is a detailed step-by-step -step account of exactly what happens to our boxes as they arrive at Amazon. Adam Ever wonder what the whole process is that your FBA shipment to Amazon goes through? I knew you'd say yes. When your shipment arrives at one of the many fulfillment centers in the Amazon network, your shipment is processed from the carrier, be it USPS, UPS, or FedEx, that you have chosen to ship your merchandise. Amazon scans in the shipping label from the carrier. The shipping label has the ISD number attached to it, which contains all of your shipment's inventory. Your shipment is then placed on the receive conveyor line, along with the sheet that has the ISD number on it, of which your shipment rolls down the receive line to the receiver to be processed. The receiver scans in the ISD page and places it back on the line for the next receiver. The receiver that has your shipment will then scan the shipping label, open the case that has your shipment in it, take out any packing material, and then start to receive your inventory onto a library card. Once the shelf of the library cart is filled, the receiver scans the shelf to close it and counts out how many units are on the shelf and inputs that count into their receive station. This is repeated again for the remaining shelves. Once all the shelves are full, the library cart is then pushed out onto the holding buffer of the receiver line. From the receive line, the library cart is moved into a stowing buffer. From this buffer, a stower comes and takes the cart from the stow buffer to an area where they will be stowing in. In that area, the stower scans a floor location barcode. The floor location barcode allows Amazon to track where their associates are within the fulfillment center. After scanning in the floor location, the stower will then scan in each shelf and then the ID badge. They will then scan any shelf they wish to start off with. Once they have a shelf opened, they can start placing your inventory onto the shelves of the fulfillment center that they work in. So now what happens when the store comes across one of your pieces of inventory that will not scan? The store will place your item back on the shelf that it came from and take the entire cart to a problem solver, who will then check out to see what the problem is and make the necessary correction. In this case, since the item will not scan, the problem solver will simply put out a new FBA label for the item and hand it back to the store to be placed into the shelf. If this happens, the problem solver will move the item from the library cart into a tote and take the tote to their ISS representative, who will then do some extensive research on the problem and may even submit a ticket on it to get the issue resolved so that Amazon can get the correct title, binding, and FBA label placed onto the item. Once this is done, your item will then get placed into a bin in the fulfillment center. What is a store? A stower is the person who takes a library cart full of books, CDs, DVDs, or a mixture of both and scans a location area barcode then to each shelf that has product on it. He or she then scans their badge. This places their name to each shelf that they have scanned. They then scan a shelf and their badge and finally an item they pick from the library cart they work from. They'll find a shelf in the warehouse to put the item they have chosen and scan the barcode of the item to check for damage or for the correct title and binding of the item. They then place it into a bin and scan that bin. This process is repeated over and over throughout their shift. A Problem Solver A problem solver is someone who helps resolve issues that a store comes across. For example, the store scans an item whose barcode is not being read by the handheld scanner. 
Walmart type. The item itself is damaged or it just doesn't match the title and binding that the scan information says. To address an unreadable barcode, the problem solver looks up the correct barcode either by scanning the shelf the item came from or by researching the Amazon website. Once that is done, a label is printed for the item. For a case of the item having the wrong title and binding, the problem solver will place a problem ticket on the item and send it to the ISS rep. The ISS rep is someone who checks on the inventory that has been received in the fulfillment center. He or she checks on reports generated from problem solvers of items that have incorrect title and bindings as well as customer complaints of items that they have received that are damaged. I know of one case at the fulfillment center I work at, our ISS rep had to check some DVDs out due to a customer complaint that disc 3 of a 4 disc set wouldn't play. The ISS rep from the corporate office in Seattle had to go through the warehouse and collect up all the DVDs and inspect each one for the defect. At the time, I believe that was like 1400 or more of the same DVD this guy had to watch. Besides checking on what I've just mentioned, the ISS rep also goes out to the warehouse and checks for inventory that is missing and takes care of problems that arise on the receiving line, such as inventory coming in without any shipping information or an entire shipment sent to the wrong FC. Here's your takeaway from this post. James has told me that the biggest problem they see with incoming FBA shipments is either barcodes that aren't scannable, books that are in the box but not in the shipment, and finally, mislabeled books. Pay attention when processing your shipments. It only helps you and Amazon make more money. Adam. Thanks for listening to the latest topic about online book selling. If you're interested in this topic or the hundreds of other topics about going into business for yourself from selling books on the Internet, please visit SellYourBooksOnline.com. This is where you can get exclusive videos, learn from other sellers, and a whole lot more. Until next time, folks, remember to always take action and think different.